is episode two in planning your solar array and today we're going to talk about ground versus roof arrays. Why I chose the one I did and why you may need to choose something different. So let's dig into it. I've made an Excel file of the pros and cons and considerations for building roof and ground-based arrays. I've put that Excel file online. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to download it and uh, utilize that as a guide. Let's go through the choices that I made and it will help you decide what you want to do for yours. For roof mount considerations, I have some showstoppers that you will want to consider. Uh, the first is, do you have a usable space on your roof? It needs to face uh, south, east, uh, or west, preferably as south facing as possible. And you need to make sure that it's not shaded. If it's covered with a bunch of trees, uh, that's going to cause a problem for your production. Um, you need to make sure there's no restrictions for putting things on your roof in your area. Some uh, homeowners associations don't allow it, and they may allow it if it's on the back side but not the front. So you need to check into those restrictions. And you need to make sure that your roof's in really good condition. If your roof's going to need to be replaced in the next 20 years, you're probably going to want to do it before you put solar panels on your roof. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a whole bunch of money to take them off when you go to replace the roof. Another thing to consider is can your roof structure handle the additional weight? Not all truss systems can handle the weight of the panels and the weight of snow that might be on top of that. You may need to get an engineering analysis of your trusses to make sure they can handle the weight. And then are you okay with roof penetrations and is it going to avoid the warranty on your roof? In my case, I, I don't really want penetrations in my roof any more than necessary. They're just um, uh, opportunity for leak later. So when I fill this out, I put a O for OK for all of these top items here because uh, they're not a problem for me. But I put an X for not OK. I, I don't want roof penetrations. I also don't want to walk on my roof. So uh, that was a big negative for me. For ground-based arrays, obviously the number one issue is do you have space to put it? Typically facing it due south isn't as big of a problem with ground-based arrays because you can angle them however you want, um, but you have to make sure there's a space for it. You have to make sure there's no building restrictions in your area for those ground-based arrays and is it going to be close enough to minimize the wiring? So you want to probably keep it under 300 feet. Um, the further away you go, the bigger size wire you're going to have to use or the more losses you're going to see. So uh, a close space is kind of important. So those top ones are kind of showstoppers. If you can mark an X in any one of those, it kind of eliminates that as a choice for you. Then there's some other things to consider and I've highlighted the ones in green that are positive for that particular uh, proposal. For instance, uh, roof mounts usually are a little lower cost to install. So that's a positive. Um, the ground mount is a little higher cost because you have to build a structure to put it on, so that's that's a negative. Um, of course, the roof mount is a safety risk. My backside of my roof is two stories off the ground, uh, two and a half in some places, so I don't want to be that high, and my roof is also very steep, so if, uh, if I fell off, it would really negate any of this activity. So uh, the ground-based one's safer to install, so that's a positive. On the roof, it's difficult to clean. If a bird poops on my panels or, or there's a lot of snow, uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. Ground-based one's pretty easy to clean. You can walk right up and uh, scrape snow off, or if uh, there's some debris or dust, it hasn't rained in a while, you can rinse them off. On the roof, it's a little harder to maintain. You have to get up there on the roof every time you want to make some maintenance adjustment. Uh, of course, the ground-based one, you can walk right up to it. And uh, one positive for the roof is there's lower risk of uh, unwanted access. It's hard to get up on a roof if you want to steal something or, or sabotage something. So where I live, I'm, I'm out in the country, so really it's not, not a big concern for me. But it may be for you. For the roof-based one, roof maintenance may require panel removal. We talked about that in the beginning. You don't want to have to remove panels to do maintenance. That's going to be a, a huge cost and not something you want to have to do. But uh, the ground-based one 
may require regular maintenance underneath. I, I put gravel under mine, but uh, you may have to mow under it or do some other kind of maintenance to prevent weeds or trees to, from growing around it, so that's probably a negative for, for ground. On the roof, you can't get an ideal orientation. You're stuck with the angle of your roof, both the uh, both the angle and the rotation axis are, are limited. But on the ground, you can set whatever angle you want, and you can orient it due south. It's uh, no problem. On the roof, you can't change it for the seasons, uh, so that's a negative. But typically these days, people aren't adjusting their ground-based arrays uh, throughout the seasons. So for me, you know, it was it was not a consideration either way. But for you, maybe it is. Panels can reduce the heat load on, and weather damage on your roof, so that's that's one nice thing. It can certainly make your roof last longer, and it can also reduce the heat load or in your attic. Um, however, panels don't like to run hot, and on the ground they get a lot more air flowing around them, so they'll actually run more efficiently. So that's that's one thing to be considered. Uh, another thing is uh, appearance. If your south-facing roof surface is also the street-facing surface, uh, you may not want to roll panels across the front of your house. At the same time, you may not have uh, a good spot in your yard to put them that won't look bad. So, you know, what's it going to look like? Now, if you download this and you fill in all your X's and O's, uh, this will count them at the bottom. And for my analysis that I did here for my array, I have uh, 8 positives for the roof mount and 11 positives for the ground mount, but really this big red X is, is the uh, showstopper for me. I, I don't want holes in my roof and I don't want to have to climb on it. Uh, I plan to do it myself and it's, it's a lot less risky for me to do it on the ground, so that's one of the big reasons that I chose that. But that's not the only things to consider, so let's look at uh, the next list of of things to consider. One of the things you want to do is compare the production and uh, I put this Excel sheet in the link in the description below if you want to use it. Uh, it allows you to compare production the for the roof array and the production for the ground array and with the energy rate that you enter it will calculate the savings by month and by year and give a delta at the bottom. And then off to the right it will put out a visual chart showing the ground production in green and the roof production in orange so you can visually see the difference throughout the year. In order to do that analysis you can just go to this um, solar panel calculator online and I'll put a link in the description below and then you just put in your system size and the tilt of your roof or ground array that you're analyzing your azimuth or you know north, south, east, west you can click on the little info there it'll tell you what angle that is um, whether it's residential and, and your kilowatt rate, it'll calculate a, a performance value for you. But for the sheet I put in, all you really need to do is copy this uh, column of, of AC energy outputs and put it in that Excel sheet. And it will uh, give you the comparison. Once you get those numbers, you can put them into these uh, green cells. The roof numbers for the roof array and the ground numbers for the ground array, I put in these numbers based on my system. My roof is almost perfect for my latitude and longitude at 33 and a half degrees about. And the only disadvantage is my roof points east-west, so that's why we get that disparity in the chart. But just that east-west delta results in a $275 difference per year. When we look at the chart, you can kind of see what's going on here. In the summer months, the difference is very small because the angle of the sun continues across the sky and the western exposure is almost the same as the southern exposure at, in the peak months of the year. But when you start getting into the fall and winter months, uh, even into the spring, you can see there's a dramatic difference in performance because the sun is setting before it gets fully across the sky and that's why we have such a big difference in performance. So if we look at those numbers uh, for a comparison, I, I entered the rough costs of my system in here. I'll do a video later with more detail, but the solar panels and optimizers and inverter, all of those are going to be about the same. The wire and materials are going to be similar. There will be a little bit more cost for 
the wire in the ground if you have a long distance to go. The racking will be more expensive for the ground because you don't have a structure to attach it to. It's about $600 more if you use the ready rack system that I used. If you use poured concrete in the ground, it's going to be significantly more expensive. Then if you want to put a treatment underneath like gravel, uh, there's some cost for that as well as equipment for trenching and gas and things like that to get that installed. The permits will be similar and then there's a, a tax rebate based on what you spent. So here's the total for the two here. Now the delta for these two systems for me was about a thousand dollars. So initially it looks like the ground-based system is going to be more expensive, but I put in a 15-year production analysis and that $275 a year adds up pretty quickly. After 15 years, I actually am $3,000 more profitable with the ground-based solution than I am with the roof-based solution because that $275 adds up very quickly. Now let's look at our decision analysis. We have our pros and cons list and in my case there's a, a big negative for me. I, I don't want to be up on my roof installing this or have to do maintenance on it later. Second we have our production uh, estimate and we can see that the ground-based array produces a lot more power and when we convert that to numbers and compare it to our install costs uh, we can see that while there's a little bit higher initial capital outlay the 15-year return is certainly much better for the ground-based array. So for me, my decision, uh, roof is a high risk of injury. If there's any problems with the panels on the roof, is going to be a significant additional cost to fix that. The ground-based system is uh, easy to clean, easy to check, easy to repair, easy to expand. And finally, the 15-year profit is much better for the ground. So those are the things that I took into account when I was deciding whether to put mine on the roof or on the ground. And for me, it finally came down to a pretty easy decision. In fact, the biggest issue detracting from a ground-based array for me was the appearance. Because I could have put my panels on the back side of my roof, it would have basically been hidden from view. And I didn't really want to see solar panels in the backyard but ultimately the other advantages outweighed that so I decided to put it on the ground. So there you have it. Uh, whether it's uh, roof based or ground based you have all the tools you need to analyze that and make a good decision for you and I hope that's helpful. Please like and subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description to the installation and some other videos on solar if you want to take a look at those. Thank you very much. <laughs>